out now! What is up fighters today i have something special so we've been enjoying a lot of underground stuff recently and right now we are going to meet a complete stranger we have i have never even spoken to this guy andrew from proving demons has been contacted by this guy he says he knows a lot of secret underground passages underneath the city of hull so right now we're driving blind into the storm i don't know who this guy is i don't know where he's going to take us this is going to be an adventure that we're all going to have to just Fasten our seat belts and enjoy the ride. Bro, he might be a total psychopath. What are you gonna do if he is? Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know. What yeah, if he ties us in the tunnels and leaves us there? Oh, well, you know what? I've got my trusty spade. I've got my Gerber spade. You hit which... him over the head with a shovel. Bro, yeah, but it's a Gerber spade. It's a tactical spade. All right, it, tactical spade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it extends and then it's got a serrated edge on it, so you can literally cut heads off. Don't mess with Dan's extendable tactical yeah. You know, you know, I went into that most haunted uh, forest in the world in Romania, the Haibachu Hi forest, and what did I take with me? A spade. Yeah, I took a spade. Why not? Why not? So today, obviously, I'm joined by uh, Proving Demons. Andrew from Proving Demons. I've got Danny, exploring with Danny in the back. Peace, guys. This is how we're rolling. This is how we're rolling today. And you know what? I'm quite confident we ain't dying because you already know I got that Japan trip planned. And if I'm gonna die, it's probably gonna be on a plane. I ain't dying in no tunnel. Okay, so you guys have been, you know, telling me I need more equipment. Since I've been getting more donations, I've been buying more equipment. Check out this one I bought. Look at this. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Look at that. It's a four-in-one gas detector. It can detect uh, oxygen levels. Uh, carbon dioxide levels, combustion gases, and I think nitrogen as well. We'll be taking that underground today. Is this where you're going here, mate? Yeah? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. I've no. actually got to go into a station as well. Oh, do you? You've got to go through the station down there now. Oh, okay. So do you come down here often at all? Not much. Have you ever experienced I mean, I've got to I haven't, but I'm probably one of the only mem staff members that claims they haven't. Everybody else says that they, they have really. Okay. Really? Box yeah. red one says they've had light in the front of the Uh, yeah, people... I'm not sorry to display you, boys. <laughs> I don't have the right key on my key. It's got the gun thingy. But it's all the way down there. And obviously, we've only just put these lights on. And at the back, there's yeah. a door. Go through that door and it's near enough pitch black and it goes right through to it goes right through the station and it can go right through to Beverly. So it's a huge big there's a uh, old police hangers, there's um cells, old barber shop. Wow. Pretty creepy. Yeah, yeah cool. Sounds freaking awesome. Um you really would, know would we be able to get Scott? Because I would well, well we we might stay over and, yeah, So we're we're staying one night in Hull tonight. Right. Um, the situation, guys. We got to the door. It's locked. Unfortunate. But we're going to go and see something called Sally. Hopefully, we get to go down there. If not, we can try and rearrange it for another time. But kind of was gutted, weren't it, boys? Dude, yeah. we got so close. It's not so over yet. I it, saw the tunnel that, down through that door. I will, I will see if we, what we can do. Oh, right. lift this. But we got really close. Oh, well, it's a little Holy crap. Here. Oh, All right, let's get out of this thing. Sally, uh, uh, I was supposed to be on the ground floor. Oh, <laughs> I'm American, first floor means ground floor to us. Okay, so right now we're heading to the maintenance because apparently one of the guys we're with, his, uh, his dad works here. Might be able to get us access from this side. The hotel, we have to speak to head office, that's a no-go for now anyway. 
But apparently there's barber shops and everything down there, so that's that's all we get in. No, I doubt it. Look, it's bricked in. It's crazy, that though. Yeah, it's really weird if we've done this tunnel. I don't know if that's a, an attachable one or not. You might be able to pull up one side. Try pulling that left side first. It might be nah. welded to the ground. No, it's though. not welded. You just need two people on it. That is not moving. Yeah, you need... Let's have a look. Uh, I might not have the minerals. Yeah, definitely not. You need to shock it, I think, first. You need to bang it or something like that. How about some of that? Oh snap. And it looks like a it's it's a shit pipe. Yeah, shit pipe. Are you grabbing that pipe? You need to do this. There you go. Can you lift it up and look? Go on, have a look inside. I don't know how deep it is. Uh, so I've got, I've got this, I've got this, uh, Andrew. You can look under. It, it goes quite deep. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Oh shit! Oh, watch oh, your fingers. Snap. Pull your fingers out. Fucking hell. Holy crap! Yeah, don't ever grab them. Whatever you do. Yeah, always use a crowbar. Are you all right? Yeah. Did that hurt? No. And a close call. Uh, turn them around. Yo, yeah. The, uh, the man all cover dropped on his hands. Remember, safety first, kids. <laughs> See, the la the, they are like these ones. I need it Careful with your fingers, because if that strong. slips out of her hand, yeah, you're fine. I'm not It's as far as it's going to go, you know, no, so I don't even know if you're going to get it. That's, that's, that's a ladder, I think. Yeah, it's on hinges, because it'll, it'll go up more. There's wires in there. Yeah, there's people coming this it's way. It's flooded. It's just flooded and small. It only goes down drop about Three, four feet. Drop, drop. <laughs> I take it you boys don't mind spiders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't it, I don't know what it is about us, we just don't like spiders. <laughs> it's quite deep. Yeah? So who's next? Uh, what are you boys going to do in first? Uh, let me, let me yeah. mark my camera and go pro on. A tight, tight squeeze, Danny. Nice one, man. Okay. 
Wow, that goes deep. Oh wow, it is going deeper then. Yeah, well we're going under the river now. All right, okay, I, I see you. service ladder. For everyone watching right now, we are officially going underneath a river. No, no. No, no there's, a ca there's a camera facing exactly where we're going in, so we're kind of... Quick, quicker the better, I think. So we made it to the bottom. That was a lot further down than I expected. I wasn't expecting it at all. But I suppose if we're going underneath the river, it's gotta be pretty deep. Right, uh, first thing we're gonna do, let's go shine a light up here. Good job, boys. Are you not coming down? No, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm not gonna let you guys do it. Alright, no worries. As I said, I ain't got really. Is this, is, this, is this where you bolt to the surface and then bolt the manhole in so we can't get out? You're a secret, <laughs> you're a secret 28 days later guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> secret FBI. <laughs> Been after exploring fighters for a long time. Yeah, many years. <laughs> but, uh, I'm just going to sit on the fighter. I just hope he doesn't breach and flood. Well then we got to climb out as quick as we can. Well there's a rope here anyway. There's all this at the top. I think we're that big really on one yet. It's crazy to think how much water is actually above us, how much pressure is being put on this little tunnel. You can see the lime deposits falling through here. A lot of it is yeah, super yeah. rusty, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Parts of the ladder were falling off as I was walking down. Oh, you want, uh, okay, you're you're full, 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 full. I could feel parts of the ladder rusty. Shine the top. Parts oh, falling off. So I'm not actually sure how long this tunnel is gonna last. Hopefully till after we leave. Yo, that sounds awfully like a train. So I don't know where this is taking us, but the only thing I worry about a little bit is we heard a rumble like a train. Don't know if it was, but that's something we've got to watch out for. There's definitely no train tracks here. So I'm wondering if this was an old street at some point. We've got to look out for like street lights, maybe cobbles. Yeah, I doubt we'll find any deep underground here. Yeah, exactly. It's been really difficult, but finally we found something. We've got more tunnels, and they all stretch off, so what we will do, we'll explore every tunnel. But this one, obviously, says danger, so, um, yeah, we've got to really watch out. We don't know what's down here. We don't know any history about this part of the underground. So, like always, we're exploring together, finding it all out together. That leads on to another tunnel. We will explore everyone, I promise. But let's first, let's see how far the tunnel goes, because I can't see an end. This could be the haunted tunnel that you need to make an epic video. Might be having a tunnel to go down the construction line, so you can see moving, and we have a light at the end of the tunnel. What the hell is that? There's 100% of light moving. Our hearts are pumping right now. I can't even see that with a camera. It's so far away, I can't pick it up. No, me neither. But it looks like it's jolting. It just flickered.
It's got to be a person, dude. We just find. Did you get rid of the creepy I'm actually kind of scared. Why is it hugging the wall? Where the is it going? I don't know. It's like going against the wall. Shine your torch at it. It's close enough now. Unless our eyes are actually on this Wait, is it still moving with the lights on? No, it's still. It's definitely a light on now. Dude, are our eyes actually playing tricks? I'm not sure we see it on the camera zoomed in. Wait. No, it's still moving. Let's just walk towards it. Come on. Are you sure? Yo, yeah, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, you know. That's weird. Go cool, over on my camera now. Is it? That's all yeah. right. What? You can see, it see it there? Oh. You're having your underwear right now in the white pocket. There's a light moving around. And there's no entrance points down there whatsoever. Off camera, what do you think the hell that is? Because that's that is moving the exact same. We're both seeing the movement. That's the problem. We're both seeing the same movement. How is that possible? If guys are playing tricks, it doesn't happen. You, you can't physically see. We was all seeing every time it was darting off towards the wall. We we're like, oh, well, look, it's going to the wall. It's impossible. It it's impossible. We can't all see the same thing like that. Our eyes can't just sit playing the same trick. Yeah, when you turn the lights well, off, the lights it looks off, closer. Right close. Yeah. I don't know what the hell it is. It's worrying me though. It really creeped me out though. There's a lot of water somewhere. Yeah. Oh god, it's an actual real train line! We need to get out now! What the hell? That is so freaking cool. Wow, there's a river under here. Let's see if I can get that shot of that. Look, there's an actual river down there. It's just the most expensive. Yeah. We didn't see anyone come up, and there's no way they could have got to us this quickly. It's impossible. We're like half a mile in there. We have just a voice
is people. That is a voice. Right, come on, let's, let's stand out of the way. The craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I told you I could hear voices. I told you I could hear voices. Someone might have seen us going down a manhole and thought, you know, let's find these guys. Why would they go towards but, them? But how crazy is that, right? I told you it was voices, and the next minute, we're stood there looking out there, and a boat comes underneath us, underground, in the water. That is next level. Yeah, this, I was not I never experienced anything like that in my life. That was the most unreal experience ever. So I was starting to get really panicky. I could hear voices. I swore they were voices. Andrew went and checked out into the tunnel where we, where we were. No one. No lights, no nothing. We heard it getting louder. The, a rumble, a weird banging. So we stood at this little bridge here to see if we could see a light over near where Andrew is. But then, all of a sudden... But then, all of a sudden, from nowhere, we were stood on this little bridge here. We were taken out to the tunnel and we saw a light and heard a noise coming from here. And a boat passed underneath us with people on it. The most surreal underground experience I've had so far. The craziest thing ever. And it came from there, there's a river there. So that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, what was that boat for? It had loads of life rafts in it. It was banging on the sides of the walls. It's not, I, I can't imagine it being anything for the public just because of how rough it was, how tight and narrow it was down that little, that little river. I won't even call it a river. I mean, did we just discover something pretty crazy, boys? Definitely. Could it be something like uh, military operations or? It's moment. I'm telling you right now, it's moment. It's what? Moment. More men. They live underground. More, oh, mole men. All right, okay. More people. Okay. Okay, so we've been walking down the tunnel for some time now. And we've come across this, so obviously we've now realised there's a train line on the other side of this. This seems like a disused one, like abandoned many, many years ago. But we found these, some kind of control panels, so yeah, we leave them alone. Uh, emergency telephone. Emergency telephone. Well, answer it then. No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, now I'm seeing all the signs. Look at all these different signs. Look at these ones all here. You can see it was definitely one shoes. All the soot trails all over the roof. No sleepers or, or no sleepers or rails down though. 
But look, here. It's like they would drive trucks through here. Yeah, actually, it's I'm starting like to think that, because look, we've got truck tracks. But look, at it was definitely used as a, tr a train line once. Let's look at the soot on the roof. Oh, yeah, of course. These must be old, then, if there's soot on the roof. Oh, yeah, these got to be super old. These, well, we've got, we've got normal bricks, so maybe na early 19th century. Feels smooth, this is. Yeah, There's like recent tire tracks. Cars have been in here recently. Hink. Oh, easily. Definitely. Definitely in here recently. The ground's still sticky, so... This looks relatively newish. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, that's the thing. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. No, well, I'm, I'm wondering what it's used for. Obviously, something's been down here recently and it's going down here recently. And I can't see it being like um, network rail, uh, you know, man, uh, maintenance. Uh, this probably just for keep. Um, Holding the bridge up, I think the bridge, it'll probably collapse in at some point, that's probably what this is. So there's a really weird noise over there. So I, I know this tunnel says danger, but it's a risk we're gonna have to take because I don't want to run into whatever's down there right now. It's another massive tunnel. Again, we've uh with tire tracks. What is this? Wow. What is it? Let's get a good look at this though. Wow! Look at that! It's just a gigantic opening from the roof! You can get in, it's probably fresh water. This is weird! This is one of the most surreal underground explorers we've done yet. It's absolutely, the, the weird things we've come in contact with. If anyone knows what that was used for, leave a comment below. It's surreal. Maybe it's just for fresh air. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is to give you an idea of actually how deep we are. There you, go, you see that beaming light coming through. Are you, feel, are you feeling okay? I'm alright. I'm, I'm wide awake now, bro. I'm wide awake now. Well, this has been one hell of an adventure so far, and we've not even finished. Do we head further? One of the strangest underground experiences we've had so far. Has to be. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, I think it's just a... A bridge, to go, yeah, it's a bridge to go over the river. But what's on the other side of it then? It doesn't look safe to me to walk on, bro. Well, it looks brick. And also, I'm pretty sure that that's, well, that's the river. Bro. Oh, is it? So that's just a drop off. That's another drop. It's another hole. Yeah. yeah. Another bridge, but I think it's a, a proper bridge. Let's go and take a look. 
it is. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's an old fireplace. Wow, this is really strange. I wonder if this could have been someone where someone lived. There's a wooden floor here. Yeah, it's a wooden floor. Boys, this could be like a really old settlement right here. Right next to the river. Think about it, right? What land was around here? You have a lot of fields, right? You have a lot of farmland. Imagine if someone actually used to live here. Well, why is the water acting? There's wooden floors here, a fireplace. Looks like little steps there. Really strange. Right now we are walking through history like we've never walked through it before. I've been to some amazing places underground, but this one seems to have history built upon history and more history. But really confusing things as well, like that fireplace right there. Super strange. Could have been, it could have been like a, a work stop for people back here when they were using the tunnels or whatever. I don't know. Old trains coming through. Could have been like a workman's stop. I don't know. Super weird. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Do you know what it is? We're continuing down this long tunnel. So far we've probably walked about two and a half miles. This tunnel never ends. What is this? There's motion sensors, there's cameras. This looks like it's an alarm. Come on. The light just turned on? Yeah. That light just turned on. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go. Fuck. He fucked up. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Wait, wait. Just get into the other tunnel and go further down. Yeah. Well, no, because it, right, it could have been a sensor that tripped it, just just like a, a light sensor. I mean, right, well, look at, look at, stop, stop a sec. We are not doing anything wrong here. We came down into the underground, found this weird thing. Why don't we just see what it is? Yeah. We've got, we're holding cameras. So we did see a room and we triggered a light. We didn't know what it was, so we avoided it. But we're gonna go back and take a look. This might warrant us to abandon this mission because once we, obviously we triggered a light, it's gonna notify people we're here. So we don't actually know what this is and we don't wanna stick around to find out. But we may return. We may return. What ladders did you see? Two lives. I don't know what any of this stuff No, is. I know what this is. Boys, I know what this is. What is it? This is this is just um well look, you've got the emergency At audit. But also this is a stop for the boats. That's a stop for the boats, sir. Look. It sounds like um, echo location, boys. Yeah. 
That's what it sounds like. Echolocation. I mean, it sounds like an alarm, but. They don't like certain sensors either. That's those are motion sensors here. It's weird. Oh, what's that? What's that little tunnel there? Should uh, leave. Yeah, I think so. On the opposite tunnel. Yo, there's bits falling all over the place. Andrew. Andrew. Nice one. Got it. Cool. Like a modern day Ninja Turtle, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. 